I've been using this analogy of the boxer, and I think it's a good one. The boxer has to be able to endure punishment. Um, they're going to go in the ring, and they're going to fight, which means the other person is going to hit them back. So as I said, they can't just train on the offense. They can't just work on their punches and all of their moves and think that by that they're going to win because the other person is going to hit them back. And so if they can't endure that punishment, then they're not going to be able to win the fight no matter how good they are with their hands. They have to be able to take the blows of life. Now, the blows of life for us are going to be not just suffering, not just bad times, but also temptation. We're done in by temptation, the temptation of ease, to be lazy, right? To spend all our time watching television, to, you know, um, waste a bunch of money on things we don't need, to eat a bunch of crap that's bad for us, right? To spend too much time with people. All of these things that we're tempted to do, they are just as much hardship as anything else. And so you have to be at those, imagine those temptations to do those things as like strikes or blows from an opponent. It's easy to see how other hardships, suffering like being without a job or not being able to pay your bills or um, you know, feeling sick or suffering in a relationship. We know what those blows feel like. We, we, it's easy to see those as blows to the body. We don't see the temptations as blows to the body, but they are. They are just as damaging. But if you're aware that they are, okay, then you'll toughen yourself for that. How do you do that? Deprivation. In other words, deprive yourself of things, deprive yourself of some of that ease. You know, maybe it can be as simple as, you know what, I'm going to park a little farther from the front door of the store. I'm going to walk a little farther just because just you're just going to make yourself do something you don't want to do. Right. You're going to go clean out that closet. You're going to go organize your desk. You're going to go clean out the refrigerator. Get rid of a bunch of stuff in the pantry, right? Wash your car. Cut your hedges. Um, do your taxes, whatever. I don't care what it is. Something that you begin to impose on yourself, hardship, and therefore deprive yourself of other things. Deprive yourself of ease, so you might want to start, um, you know, writing every day, journaling, for example. Say, instead of watching TV, I'm going to take an hour off of that TV time, and I'm going to devote that to journaling, to putting down my thoughts about my day, about my goals, about my, you know, what I've been thinking about. I'm just going to do that. It's just a healthy discipline. Gets my mind engaged. It's something that's productive. I'll learn more about myself. I'll be able to better clearly understand my goals. I'll keep better track of what it is that needs to get done. It's a good discipline to have, and it deprives you of more time devoted to entertainment. Okay? Same thing with food. You could, you know, say, listen, I'm going to go ahead and eat the salad with some grilled chicken on top of it. Not going to put any sugary dressing on there. I'm going to go ahead and eat that instead of eating the other crap that I would normally eat. Right? That's why they always say, don't go grocery shopping when you're hungry <laughs> because you're going to buy up everything that you, you know, because you're just thinking of what you want to eat right now. Same thing. If you're tempted to eat something you shouldn't be eating, if you go ahead and eat the stuff you should eat, just go ahead and eat it. Well, then you're not going to feel so tempted anymore, are you? No, of course not, because you are full. By enduring hardship, what we perceive to be hardship, modern kind of hardship, it still creates the sufficient amount of deprivation to toughen us up because you're used to telling yourself to do stuff you don't want to do when it needs to be done. And that's self-discipline, right? To get yourself to do what you need to be doing when you don't feel like doing it. That happens by learning the habit of deprivation, right? To deprive yourself of a little more time in bed, you know, deprive yourself of your ego to apologize to someone else. You know, whatever you got to do, right, to get yourself 
to be stronger, get yourself to be tougher, get yourself to have that tougher skin. Again, to be able to endure blows. Because for most of us, man, if we stepped in the ring, <laughs> life will knock the crap out of us. Because again, we're fussing over late shipments, we're fussing over cable companies, we're fussing over simple stuff, traffic, people at work, simple things. We stumble over simple things. So how can we be expected to deal with the difficult things in life? Can't deal with the small things. How are you going to deal with the big things? Can't deal with small difficulties. How are you going to deal with real big challenges when life brings them? You want to create a psyche of strength, a psyche of self-deprivation. I mean, in a healthy way, right? To put yourself, put yourself continually through more and more crucibles so that the fire purges you, you know, galvanizes the steel of your inner constitution, makes you a stronger person. Can you dig it? Hope you can.